Within the same complex at Lexington is another center, this one engaged in addiction research. Its mission is to investigate the nature of the drugs themselves. Our understanding of the scientific working of drugs, their physical effects on people, what changes they cause in the body, are questions to which we have few precise answers. Have another one? Sure. Yeah, why not? Well, it's free. Yeah, you come with me a foot. <laughs> Patients from the Clinical Research Center volunteer for a variety of tests involving the actual intake of drugs. To the outsider, these tests may appear meaningless. And from a conservative point of view, immoral. However, they bring us closer to a clearer understanding of the chemical relationship between body and the agent. Whether the agent is marijuana, a marijuana cigarette, a synthetic drug, or one of the opiates. Highly sophisticated equipment measures the concentration of drug molecules within the body. This enables the researcher to compare what he sees in human behavior with what the instrument reveals the drug is doing to the body's organs, tissues, and chemistry. Through experiments such as these, the addiction center has racked up an impressive record in unmasking supposedly non-addicting pharmaceuticals. The center demonstrated the addictive nature of the barbiturates, certain tranquilize, and even performed pioneering work in the understanding of alcoholism. While Lexington's outpost in the wilderness of drug research was amassing information on the addict and on the drug, little else, little else in the country was being done.